Hi, everybody. We're back. That we are. <sighs> I'm going to go to the nether. I'm going to stay here and mourn. And that's so bad. Oh. See how much sympathy I'm getting from Jim here. No, I mean it sucks. It 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 does. It sucks. I, but as somebody who died in the Nether during through like through all this recording, uh, I think I like and only narrowly wound up just not like not losing everything. Jim cursed oh, me. There's a problem. Yep, that's that's a problem. Well, at least I found some apples. Yeah, you know I have a cat here that wants to play. I could do that. Except she didn't bring her paper ball. Also, we're doing a thing right now. But cat. Uh, I don't care. I'm a monster. You are. You're a terrible, terrible man. I've heard, I've heard that. Alright, endothermic pump in place. You know what I didn't think of? A lot of stuff. How I was going to connect these magmatic dynamos to the pump. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm just... But can't they just attach right to the pump? But it, the pump has to be at lava level, like right above it, right? Weren't you going to put the power down there? Which is where my floor is. Don't <sighs> worry. We got it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried. I, I'm just, I would come, you know, help you, but... I'm just amused. That's all. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we got a lot of leather still. Okay. So... No, we don't. We got our magmatic engines in place. We do have swords, though. Now what we need to do is... Kill cows. What? Yeah, I'm gonna go kill our cows. Um... What? We need leather. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna breed them, have them give birth to baby cows, and then orphan those baby cows. Okay. You, you do that. Yeah. Uh, you do you, man. You do you. I need to go and fill two buckets full of lava. So I can kickstart the magma pumps. Alright, power station alpha definitely not my best power station design, but not my worst. Okay, so the pump is now pumping stuff into the, uh... There we go, I don't think it's enough leather still, but it's a start. All right, pump is now pumping things into the uh, magmatic dynamos as well as the lava drum. All the lava drum has to do is. out into an ender tank. Which it won't do until I put a servo in this container and then adjust it. Ah! Ah? I'm burning! Ooh. Oh my god, I must have been turned into a vampire or something. I'm sun scorned. Oh jeez. 
Why is it All so right. bright in here? Ender tank is go. And we're going to coat it with two blue blocks. So it's blue, black, blue. Okay, you know how I wasn't really buying into this whole endothermic pump thing because... Usually I just use a regular pump and fill an inner tank and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh huh. But I'm watching it turn this whole lava lake into stone, and I'm loving it. So I take everything back. Oh my god! I can't see properly. Okay. So the nether side of our set setup is working great. You know it's not working great. Uh, Me currently no. being in sunlight. What? What did you do? I. Ow! If you're Ooh. a vampire. We're ah. gonna have a talk. Burn, burn! I'm burning in the brightness. Are you? I'm hiding. Serious? I'm serious. You, you will see it when you edit this. Oh my god! I'm what burning. did you do? I, you know, apparently all this forbidden research and into apparently research, into you all dug too stuff. deeply into the dark magic button in that third bucket, and now you're all woo. Now I'm I'm getting set on fire. Oh god, my color looks all washed, like bleached out, like as if the brightness has been turned up by about twenty or something. Where are you? Oh my god. You're in the basement. Yes, I have our controllers in place. Do I look, look any different? Fine. Oh yeah, you think I look fine now? Here, I can't get out up there because I don't have a jetpack. But here, just get head upside and out to my hole where I came come in and out of here. Then we'll see who's fine. Hmm. Let's see if it happens again. Still look fine. Might only happen tempor at different points. Everything seems fine. Let's just give it time. It'll light me on fire eventually. <sighs> Sounds like my first. Ah! Fire! 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 Hey, you're on fire, man. I too have a magic jumpy stick. It's called a jetpack? No, watch. Turn around. Check it out. It doesn't give you as big of a jump as mine did. What are you using? Oh, no, it's forward. Long sword, it's got a lunge. Ah. Uh, okay. So I got the controllers in place. What else can I get working on right now? Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm briefly going to kill power. Okay, I'm not using it, so... Okay, I'm just letting you know that I'm briefly going to kill power. I will do it as briefly as I can. Okay, power restored. I just needed to get a hole in the uh, conduit running down in the basement. Okay. Six, it looks like. So in here, we're going to put down the ender tank. So I'm going to need six ME drives. And... We need some more fluid ducts. Something called any dry fixture. I wonder what that is. What does the any dry fixture do? I don't know. Neat. Oh, I can't find it on a wiki. Oh well, I'll figure it out sometime. Anyways, I need to make ME drives no matter what. 
I need six ME drives, which here I go making a lot of these again. So six, I'm gonna need 12 engineering processors. Draining out the old ender tank, there we go. So now that ender tank is, tra is transporting lava across dimensions and filling this barrel. Now what we need are a few more fluid ducts which I'm going to cannibalize from the pump set up in the mine because it's probably time to take that apart anyway. I thought you were going to I just nicked my uh, ankle. I have a sprain. It was very painful. Oh wow, pump set up uh, actually bottomed out in the wrong spot. Cool. Two is actually not going to do us, so I'm going to leave this pump set up down here. I'm going to steal these fluid ducts and go make more. Okay, I'm going to sit here making parts for more ME drives. Yay! Oh, barrel of oil on my roof. I love you. And then hopefully after this episode, I'll finally get to go replace all my magic stuff that I lost. <laughs> Which is going to require more killing of cows. I'm going to need Invar, flesh, so I'll have to kill zombies. Cool. We never did find a zombie spawner, did we? I actually want to find a skeleton spawner. I've got one bookmarked, but I have plans for that. Is the plan to farm skeletons? Kinda. Because I want their arrows. You know, I kind of want to sacrifice them for blood for a blood altar. I mean, that doesn't seem incompatible. I don't know if you get drops if the blood altar, uh, if the ritual of sacrifice at a blood altar kills them. Oh, I'll yeah, have to know. research that. I also want to get us started on building up uh, mechanism stuff so we can get a quarry set up. I know I have lots of fluid ducts. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run a fluid duct there. Like that. We're going to put the conduit here, here, and here. And we're going to hook that up to the power system. So, I think what I might do is expand that tunnel a bit that's running there so I've got more room to stick stuff in it. Seems cool. I'm still not gonna I'm not gonna create a bigger entrance on either side. But I might turn that into the ME storage room. Yep, that seems neat. And then we can just run off uh things that we need All for right. like cables out to terminals and stuff like that. We are in business Okay, what kind of business? Uh, well, currently we've got three magmatic dynamos that are full of uh, lava that are running into the existing workshop power system. Where did you put them? In the basement? Yeah. Check it out. No, it takes me forever to get out of there. We have a tower of power. Nice. I will eventually then probably be moving the energy acceptor down into the basement uh, so I can run the power straight into the uh, ME controllers. So you saw the big line mm -hmm. of ME controllers down here? Yep. Okay, so what we can essentially do is each controller, the ones at the ends will be able to have five... Um, cables connected to, the ones through the middle will be able to have four, so we'll have lots of channels, because each side on a controller is worth uh, 32 channels. Okay. Imagine I don't know what that means. Okay, so what it means is that ad hoc system I've got set up there, the most it can have is a total of eight channels. I think I'm currently using two on that. Okay. Each drive, like not the cells in the drive, but each drive uses one channel. Um, each interface, like that interface I've put on there, uses a channel. Mm -hmm. The inscri uh, sorry, the inscriber does not, the power thing does not, but 
uh, uh, what are they called? Input and output uh, interfaces? Yeah. Um, I probably got the names wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. I do. They each will use a channel. So essentially, if we left the system the way it is right now, yeah. we only have room for six more uh, devices attached to this that use channels. Okay. Each side of a controller will allow the usage of 32 channels. Oh, I understand now. And we currently, with that many controllers, have a lot of channels. The catch with controllers is you can only have one essential... I'm, I'm going to say one controller on a network. Uh, but every time you attach a controller block to another controller block, they essentially are considered combined as if they were a multi-block structure and okay. are considered one um, controller. Neat. So by having seven controllers laid out like that, I've given us all the, the stuff that we should ever need. Um, I'm probably actually going to put them hovering up in the air a bit, just so it'll make it easier to run cables underneath. Maybe. I don't know. We can always dig out the floor, I guess, underneath them. But yeah, I'm going to clear more room down there to put in my uh, Essentia storage drives, uh, and I'll end up, once I've got them all made, formatting each Essentia storage drive to hold one Essentia type. Okay. So, so that, then that's going to hold all your magic stuff? That'll hold all the Essentia I need for infusion and stuff like that. Neat. Rather than cluttering up everything with a whole crap ton of jars. Mm -hmm. It'll also mean when I get around to breaking stuff down, I don't need to use a bunch of golems to put stuff into, st uh, into jars and stuff. I can just in essentially pump it straight into the ME storage system. Ah. I am building an induction furnace, which is like a super furnace. Uh, weren't you going to make something to make cold coke as well? Uh, coke oven, yeah. Coke oven, yeah. Need more, a little, need a little more space for that. But we're getting there. That's what hammers are for. It is actually what hammers are for. Except you know, in real life, where they're usually used for putting nails into things. Sledgehammers. Well, yeah, but sledgehammers don't exactly break things uh, apart like uh, these hammers do. No, well, these hammers are super high-tech and basically magic. So, 12 uh, glass cable. And, of course, I have 11. <laughs> irony. That's not irony, it's just unfortunate. Alright, induction smelter. And let's put the hopper real quick. All I can hear is your cat. Yeah, she's trying to get some attention. I don't know if she wants somebody to play with her. Or she just wants to be petted or what? Oh, that's adorable. Yeah. And <laughs> my brother's just like, she's annoying is what she is. Well, yeah. That too. Oh, you know what I can do now that I have an induction smelter? What's that? Armor my jetpack. Oh, see, now we know the whole reason he wanted the extra power. Yeah, basically. And the induction smelter. Man, it's a good thing I created some room by, you know, upgrading those uh, chests. Eh, I suppose. It's nighttime. I don't have weapons or armor anymore. Nighttime scares me. Oh, I think I might almost be done recording right now. I have a cat who wants attention. Oh, she's so insistent. Oh, if everybody could just see my cat. <laughs> She's adorable. There, there, there. I slept for the night, now I'm taking a break to pet a cat. Pet a cat, pet a cat. <laughs> Scratch your belly, rub your belly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I better focus on what I'm doing here. You're a weirdo.
Are you saying you wouldn't do stuff like that if you had a cat? Uh, no, I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> Good. You know what I am saying? I'm a weirdo. Ar armored jetpack! What kind of armor did you put on it? Um, <clears throat> it's got protection six. I think all jetpacks get the same armor. It just takes more materials to do it, depending on the nature of the jetpack. There, now I have lots of armor. I'm very unlikely to die in some place dangerous like the nether. That's what you think. Oh, also I need some string. Um, just so I'm aware, Jim, how much do you plan to change that uh, power setup you have going over there? A bunch. Okay, so any cable I might end up running there to start powering stuff over here is probably going to end up having to get moved? Yeah, almost certainly. This power setup is going to grow. I love this crossbow. Did I mention that? Did I show you this crossbow? Uh, yes, I've been shot repeatedly. Are you sure you've seen enough of it? Yes, I'm gonna go make some more night ore, except I can't remember how because my thumb and all my gone's gone. Aww. My bucket's gone. Oh. You see, you monster. I can't, that even, never I, gets old. I can't even retaliate. <laughs> I have no weapons. <laughs> you are a monster, <laughs> sir. Fear the might of engineering, my friend. Hey, Rich. I'm on the roof. Oh, you monster. Welcome to the rest of the show. Jim hunts me down and shoots me. Because he knows I can't get up there. I think we've lost Jim. He's just died of laughter oh, at this point. Man. Hey, Rex. Where are you? Are you on the roof? Oh, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I assume you're almost dead. Yeah, it's not stopped you before. <sighs> Ow. Nice. Damn nice. it, I didn't dodge that one. Don't make me throw these back at you. Oh, man, I'm empty. Good. I've got your, all your ammo now. No, I mean, I just reloaded. The, the, the <sighs> That's what I need the string for. To reload? Yeah, I have to make arrow bundles, and I reload arrow bundles. 